indigestion, when your stomach's doing jumps and bumps, I use Rolaids. Trying to get that order. Boy, you have coffee with the buyers. I've had as many as four, five cups of coffee before lunch. It can give you a burning feeling, but you'll lose it when you take Rolaids. So if somebody else wants a cup of coffee, you can stand it. surprise for you. Oh, huh? what surprise? We have invited a very, very important person to dinner. Well, that's just fine. If it's for next week, if it's for tonight, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Daddy, you mean you invited someone for dinner tonight? Oh, well, honestly, why do you do these things? I, I have to make a thousand preparations. I just can't slap any old thing together. All right, all right, sweetheart. Okay, it's going to be that much trouble. I'll call Frank and tell him not to come. Well, you just better do that. Okay. Frank who? Sinatra. You cancel that dinner and I'll kill you. <laughs> Frank Sinatra's coming here? Uh huh? Oh, I'm here. I'm on my face. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, I have a solution. We'll put your hair on her face. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Mom, can I borrow a pair of your pantyhose? Huh? Uh, thanks. Oh. oh, Michael, will you take these things upstairs and, and I'll pack them? Oh, Danny, I could kill you. Oh, I've got for dinner a hamburgers. So what's the matter with that? How do you serve Frank Sinatra hamburgers? On a bun with ketchup and onions. <laughs> oh, what time is he coming? 6.30. Well, what time is it now? 6.30. Oh, no! Oh, Boy, when he wants to eat, he wants to eat. <laughs> Frank! Here's the man himself. My wife, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Oh, he kissed me. Well, that's really your girl, aren't you? I am. I mean, I'm, I'm pleased to be... Uh, we're only having hamburgers. I love hamburgers, especially with ketchup and onions. <laughs> well, 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 won't you sit down? Thank you. Well, you'll have to forgive me, Frank, but for, for a minute I was back at the old Paramount Theater standing in line waiting to get in to see you. If I had known that, I would have gone out and brought you in. Oh, why can't you ever say things like that? What well, say? I'm the guy who went out and brought you in. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> down and uh, perceive our guest here. This is our daughter, Linda. Hello, Linda. Frank Sinatra. Oh, you don't have to introduce me, Dad. Well, Mr. Sinatra is a legend. <laughs> what a charming thing to say. He's wearing Grandma's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> That's our, our grandson, Michael. <laughs> Who you may never see again, because I might just go upstairs and kill him. Oh, don't let him upset you, Linda. When my kids were little, we had problems like that every day in the week. <laughs> you look ravishing. Whose heart are you going to break tonight? Oh, my own. What's that? Oh, you're here and I have to leave. I've got to go to a friend's house and study for a big test tomorrow. The lucky boy. Phyllis? <laughs> Phyllis? <laughs> Excuse me, I get it. <laughs> Sit down, Frank. Sit down. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Sinatra's here. Long distance. Excuse me. Uh, Riviera, French Riviera. Oh, Kathy, I hope you don't mind. I had my exchange. Put all the calls over here, Do you mind? Not at all. Hello? Riviera. Yes, let's see. <laughs> Bridget. Comment ça va? Ça va? Good, good. No, no, I can't. I can't. No. 
I gave the pilot a few days off and told him to take the plane and go and have a good time from start. No, I can't next week either. Now I'm playing in a, in a marvelous golf tournament in Palm Springs. Very big one, yeah. No, but as soon as I can, I'll call you, okay? All right. Au revoir, ma chérie. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Bridget. No, no, it's another Bridget. Oh, that's too bad. Dear, it's his loss, not yours. Excuse me. Hello? <coughs> oh, yes. Yes, he's here. Long distance. Rome. Excuse me. Italy. Hello. Yeah, this is Mr. Sinatra. Oh, Gina. How are you with the field today? That's the nice. The good, the good. No, I'm kidding you. Uh, I, I hate to have to pay his phone bill. He hasn't paid the one call. Doesn't he have any men friends? Uh -uh. No one's ever found out. No, but I really can't. But in a couple of weeks, maybe, I'm going to be on the French Riviera, and it's a quick hop over to Rome. Then I can come over to see you. And we'll have some fun, okay? All right, Gina. Ciao. <laughs> Goodbye. Gina... Gina Banducci. It's another one. <laughs> You may as well get it. It's got to be for you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, just a minute. He's there. See you, Dan. For me? Local. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, gee, I'm glad you called. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, anytime you say. Tomorrow will be great. Fine. See you then. I'll be the same. <laughs> Who was that? Schultz, the plumber. Can you give me a hand, Irish? No, thanks. Everything's all set. Yes. You didn't leave Frank out there all alone, did you? No, he's upstairs with Michael. With Michael? Yeah. I was putting him to bed, and Frank offered to sing him to sleep. Isn't that cute? Don't tell Linda, or we shall perceive a teenage daughter who'll kill herself. <laughs> All right. And when somebody needs you, it's no good unless he needs you. All the way. Through the good old lean years and for all the in-between years. Come what may. Frank Sinatra? Well, everywhere he goes, all those women are hounding him. What kind of a life is that to live? Oh, just the kind of life any red-blooded man would give his eye teeth to live. <laughs> and Ray tell, what color is your blood? Pink. <laughs> I wonder how he does it. Hey, you know something? You're really curious about the way this man lives. Why don't you just come out and ask him? Oh, Danny, I could never do a thing like that. Honest. Ah, 
Uh, how, how'd it go? He's a mighty tough audience for it. <laughs> but he promised me a rematch if I practice Mary Had a Little Lamb. Is he asleep? No, not yet. He says he never goes to sleep until his granddaddy goes up and kisses him goodnight. Well, his granddaddy will do that right now. Excuse him. Oh. Well, would you like some coffee, Frank? Uh, I'd love some. Oh, is it all right if I call you Frank? Of course it is. Oh. Well, here we are. Thank you. I'll get, I'll get back there in a second. Oh. Frank. Yes, Captain. Oh. Well, would you like to sit in that chair next to the phone in case you get another phone call? Uh, Mrs. Williams. You, you mind if I call you Mrs. Williams? Oh. <laughs> I get a funny feeling that you're curious, very curious about something, and I think it's right at the tip of your tongue, and I think you should tell me about it. What is it? Oh, well, there's nothing that I'm curious about. It, it, it's just that Daddy was saying that, well, every red-blooded man in the country would give anything to live the life that you live. You mean to live the life they think I live? Oh, come on now, Frank, Bridget, Gina. And that's just two countries <laughs> on one continent. <laughs> Kathy, you really want to know something, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Just between you and me. Oh, of course, of course. Now, usually, many men carry little black books, correct? Uh -huh. Not me. Not you? No. A computer. <laughs> A computer? Well, listen, I can't possibly keep track of the color of their hair and their eyes and their shape and size and figure, etc., etc. Consequently, the computer. Well, I guess it is better than a Harold. Who told you about the Harold? <laughs> Nobody really. It just, it just sort of started to come out. It just came out. Yeah, it came out. <laughs> really, Harold? May I have some more coffee, Captain? Uh, oh, yes, 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 of course. Oh, the yeah. same cup. <laughs> oh, Frank, come on. You're, you're just putting me on. Of course I was putting you on. Oh. Kathy, you gotta stop paying attention to the, all that junk they write in those gossip magazines. That's silly. I mean, if I really lived that kind of a life, I wouldn't be alive to live it. <laughs> don't you see? Yeah, I guess so, but I don't know. <laughs> you really made a hit with my grandson. He says you sing almost as good as I do. <laughs> oh, that thrills me. <laughs> Listen, kid, I gotta beat it. I'm sorry to have to eat and run and sing and talk, but uh, I want to do a few practice rounds in the morning, so I'm on my way to Palm Springs for that golf tournament. Hey, that's right. The Bob Hope Classic is this week. Hey, anyway, right. that's great. I yeah. got a thought. What? Why don't you play in it with me, come down there, spend the weekend at my house, well, that's, you know. Really? Yeah. Hey, honey, would you mind to just be for a few days? A couple of days. A couple of days? Uh -huh. With him? You can call me Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you mind? Well, no, I suppose not. Gee, thanks, honey. You Thank you for dinner, Kathy. I'll send a plane for you. Gee, thanks, buddy. Thanks again, Kathy. Oh. Hey, you know what? We'll have a ball. <laughs> to fight those stories about Dr. Pepper being medicine and all. But you're gonna beat those stories, kid. And when you do, I'm gonna be proud. Real proud. Dr. Pepper. When people try it, they like it. And for guys like we've got, that's what makes it all worthwhile. Today, your mouth can be whatever flavor you want. What flavor is yours? Like coconut. Wild cherry. Red, yellow, and green. Today you can make your mouth whatever flavor you want, from peppermint to mango. All it takes is a lifesaver, the candy with a hole in it. Hey, what flavor is yours? Tangerine. What flavor is yours? Lifesaver.
like that out there in that desert. How bad? Why are you taking glass? Could have a bathrobe. No, but that flimsy little thing. <laughs> well, it's warm in Palm Springs. <laughs> looking forward to this trip, aren't you? Sure am. You should have a lot of fun with Frank and Palm Swings. That's right. <laughs> the Bob Hope Classic is a real fun trip. I've never seen you so anxious to go on a trip before. Yeah, I can, I can hardly wait to play. I bet you can. <laughs> Yes, it is a bit warm today. Oh, lovely. I would just say there's some food. Oh, oh I'd love to eat. I'd love you. I believe I will have a hamburger on the glass. I'll have the same. With ketchup and onion. Why not? <laughs> what did you have in mind? Oh, something about uh, 36, 24, 36. <laughs> right, right. Oh. 36, 24, 36. Something in the area of about five feet, five and a half inches. Warm or cool? Now, how about one of each? Let's start with a warm. Oh, no, no. 
Nothing. Well, I'm glad because I wanted you to have a relaxed time down here the weekend. Okay? I'm having a good time. Now, how about we have something tall and cool? Tall? <laughs> Look, 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 Frank, uh, about that. Look, I, I love my wife very much. Do you mean to say that you think that Kathy would resent me having a drink? <laughs> For a drink? Yeah, that's right. Tall and cool. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Henry. Yes, sir. Would you fix us something nice and tall and cool? Yes, sir. Okay. And listen, uh, when you get it done, bring him back in here and then you can have the night off. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Why what? Well, well, why why you give him a night off? Huh? <laughs> He's tired. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, I called you a few times, but you were never at home. Yeah, well, I'm just sitting around here talking to one of my chums, and we played some golf. We're gonna have a little drink together. Oh, she with you? <laughs> oh, that's fine. Well, why don't you both come over? I haven't seen you in several days. I want to see you. Give us a couple of seconds to take a shower. Okay, baby. I love you. Frank, Frank. Look, I'm tired. I I I'm, I'm very tired. You know how tired I am? Too tired. <laughs> For what? For when they come over. <laughs> now, Frank, look. Look, look. I, I appreciate the invitation. I I'm flat. Who wouldn't be? I mean, spending a few days with you, you're a great guy, but... But look, Frank, I'm, I'm, I'm a very happily married man. I'm married. I'm married. Boy, am I married. I'm just beginning to fit all of the parts together, what happened today. Hmm. Would you rather I told the girls not to come over? Would you, please? Okay, but Tina and Nancy are going to be pretty disappointed. Nancy, 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 my daughter. Yes, my daughter. That's true. They called, yeah. <laughs> you see, I haven't seen them in a few days, and we get together whenever we can. And you needn't worry. They were brought up very nicely. They won't attack you, Dan. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something. You ought to attack me. Why? Because, I'm oh, acting like a fool. Silly. I'm ashamed of be silly, Dan. I just wish that people would stop thinking that all I do in my life is run around with ladies all the time. I don't do that, not really, I don't. I mean, I've got a career I love. I love living in Palm Springs, playing golf. I love my art collection, my family, my friends. If I had all the activity going that people think I do have going, I'd weigh about 135 pounds. How much do you weigh? 134. <laughs> Lebanese Arnold Palmer. <laughs> how was the tournament? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, that's nice. And how are things with Frank? Oh, you just want to hear what happened to Frank, huh? Well, I'd rather hear it from you than read it in the paper. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what happened, you'll never believe. That's much fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope so. You know, there's an old saying, what she doesn't know won't hurt her, but you don't want to live with that, right? You just want the ball to it, huh? Right. Well, I'm man enough to tell you. After the first day of golf, we got to his house. The butler said, us a nice, tall, cool drink. And then the phone rang. It was a girl. Naturally. A beautiful, <laughs> net, gorgeous creature. His daughter, Tina. The girl that called was his daughter, Tina. Right. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> and then his daughter, Nancy, too. And he said, haven't seen you for a few days? Why don't you come over? They're a very close family. They really love their father and vice versa. They came up. We talked for a while, we played a little gin rummy, then we watched the late show on television, and that was the great big ball I had at Sinatra's pad. Mm -hmm. That's a very lovely story. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> open the door. Chianti with lunch story. Oh, Jan, you should see what red wine does to my dentures. Don't you know about Everdent? Everdent? It's the tablet I use. What? It's turning blue. That means Everdent's bubbles are scrubbing away its stain and odor. When the blue disappears, dentures are clean. That's for me. 
Thank you. I thought you were off red wine. Not since I got on to Everton. <laughs> Everton removes stubborn stains between teeth in minutes. Her first uncola. The moment in every girl's life when she leaves her childhood of one cola after another cola behind and begins a lifetime of the fresh, clean taste of 7-Up. Why are you pushing coffee so hard? Well, you know that taste test? The one where 45% of the people prefer instant Maxwell House coffee to the higher price freeze dry? What about it? Well, I figure the more instant Maxwell House you drink, the more you save. <laughs> and then you figured if I saved more money, I'd raise your allowance. Well, it won't work. It won't? <laughs> nope. That's funny. It just got me another dollar a week from Mom. 